Hey everybody, welcome back to the SOLIDWORKS Electrical Implementation video series. This video is going to cover 2D footprints and what you should expect when working with them. So again, under the library tab, we have our 2D footprints manager and a lot of the functionality that you find within the 2D footprints manager is very similar to what we covered in the previous video regarding the symbols manager. The reason why these are separated from the symbols manager is because these are typically used in a different sheet type, your cabinet layout drawings. If this is what you prefer to use in your schematic, then what you could do is copy this symbol and turn it into a symbol that is recognizable by a schematic or a line diagram. In this case here, these symbols are designated as cabinet layout footprints. So again, I can go in and change it to a multi-wire or line diagram symbol and save it off and it will move from this library to the other library. Now the one major difference about these symbols other than the, the type of symbol it is, is that in order for you to use these, it, these are specific manufacturer parts. So you definitely want to have a manufacturer part associated to this. Now inside of every manufacturer part, you also have the width, the height, and the depth of that particular part. Now the dimensioning here directly correlates to what that symbol is going to look like inside of our cabinet layout drawing. So if my dimension is off in my manufacturer part for this part here, and the width is set to where the length needs to be, that symbol is going to stretch out really wide and also look very, um, very small as far as the height goes. Just be careful when you enter your height, your width, and your depth, not that you really need depth to worry about in a 2D tool, but maybe you generate a report that you need to know that information. So again, garbage in, garbage out. Even though you may not need it on a 2D schematic, because your manufacturer part provides it, you might as well just enter it in because you never know if you're going to need it down the road. So that one piece of information, your height, width, depth, it's good to have that in there. So that way, when this symbol is dropped into your cabinet layout drawing, the dimensions are proportionate to what you expect. As far as creating a new one or copying an existing one, the same process applies to what we just covered in the previous video with the symbols manager. So I'm not going to cover that again. If you want to learn how to edit that symbol, just review the previous video. So with this manager here, if I want to export, which we call archiving in SOLIDWORKS Electrical, I would simply come in. And the one other caveat with this is that the 2D cabinet symbols are also known as .SYMB. It is similar to the standard symbol manager extension. So if you try to install a 2D cabinet symbol in the symbols manager you will get a pop-up to say hey this is the wrong library make sure you put this in the right one so you just have to back out and come to the right library so i hope this helped with 2d footprints and understanding how 2d footprints work and a few of just the, the minor caveats when working with 2d cabinets uh, layout symbols and the next video we will cover we'll move on down the line here and we'll talk about our title blocks so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time